Marge. Marge Simpson, whenever I call people homie. Homie. Hi. Hiya. Sorry. Just start talking about Marge Simpson. Today is going to be a day in the life of a YouTuber. Because you're looking at one. I do a lot of, uh, like, days in my life. So I thought, why not bring you on one? Yeah. So join the magic. Do you want to come and see how it's really done? But before I start blabbing on about my work too much, I've got literally the coolest announcement ever. You're not going to believe this. I've got my own YouTube. I've got my own YouTube's figure. I... This video is sponsored by YouTube's. I have my own. This is a... If you don't know what YouTube's is, oh my God, let me educate you. This is a little figure of me. It says on the front, Ellen and Neil, vinyl figure. And look, that sneak peek. So this yes. is what the outside sleeve looks like. This is a little sneak peek of the figure inside. And look at all this. Sorry, crime scene investigator. So you take this sleeve off like so. Wait. <laughs> like so. Ah, yes she is, oh my God. I, just, I forgot it was actually gonna be there when I opened it. She's got some really cool like elements around her. So down here, she's solved on the inside. So today's collectible figure, sorry, writ that myself. Am I a comedian? Yes. Oh my God, she's so cute. She's wearing my outfit. She's got my plant. We even made sure she had the plant from the background of my videos. And look, she can just sit on your desk with you like that. Just, just me and my YouTube. How adorable is she? These will be going live on February the 1st. February the 1st is the launch date for these, but I actually have a bit of a surprise for you guys because we're doing a giveaway. We're doing a giveaway so that one of you guys can win a little Eleanor. All you have to do is go through the link down below in the description of this video. There's a couple of different ways that you can enter the giveaway. And good luck. I hope you get one. I hope everyone gets one. Everyone needs one of these. I'm literally so excited about this. I'm not going to stop screaming about this for the next six months at least. Six to eight months actually. Give me the benefit of the doubt. I've literally got a figure made of myself. Why? <laughs> Why? I don't know, but I'm gas. But yeah, thank you to YouTube for, for, for this. For this little thing. Oh my God. Oh my God. Anyway, you're watching a YouTuber get evicted from their apartment now. So this is the outfit for the day. The dress is from Urban Outfitters. It's just like a slip dress. I think you're technically supposed to wear it under some of it. Nah, surely not. Cardigan, ASOS. Shoes, ASOS, socks. Uh, Urban Outfitters. I put my room that on and I don't know why because I wanted to talk. And now I can't because she's talking over me. Well, it's actually a boy. I've called it Chris Hay. Uh... It's one of Jack's friends from home. He made me name it after one of his friends from home. Look, this is Chris here. Oh my God, don't look at the stuff under my chair. Whoa, wow, he's gonna suck them up. Get out of there, you little. Go, queen. Oh, she's fine. Look at her go. I am sat at my kitchen table, not my office. I do have an office that I don't use. Do you want to know why? Do you want to see why? Okay, so my office is in this room here. This is, ah! No, don't look, don't look, wait. So this is my filming setup. Oh, ah, cable management. Everyone, everyone that's an actual serious gamer is gonna have an aneurysm watching this video. So yeah, this is the filming setup, the lights, camera, the the Batman chair, the <coughs> on the floor, oh my God. And this is the filming background. I've got my little tree and all my little crystals and my salt lamp. I love this bitch, I'm so. <laughs> I've just got some pretty boring tasks to do this morning. Like I'm responding to emails, I have have to put some footage on frame which is like oh my god I'll just show you day in the life why am I telling you why don't I just show you so with my videos obviously I film them and then I've got editors that edit the videos for me so we use this website called frame where I put the clips on that I filmed and then Jack Jake Adam can go on the website pull them off and then edit them themselves and then put them back on the website. So I'm just doing that right now for Jack. I'm uploading a true crime video for him to edit. So welcome to our little workspace. Down here we have all the categories. So like I've got one for my researchers, second channel, TikTok, true crime. Uh, right now we're in the true crime folder in January. Hello. Thank you. <laughs> um, and I just put all my footage in a folder like this. This is only like half of the footage for this video. And then Jack will go on, pull it out. Um, and then he'll make me the thumbnail on there. Well, we make it together, but he uploads it onto there. This is the final video. This was the first draft of the video, but as you can see, there must have been something I wanted to cut out because it's gone down by a second. I totally forgot to mention earlier in this video that I'm going to a party tonight. That's exactly why I filmed this video on this particular day. It's Kate Elizabeth's birthday today, so I'm going to her party. I'm dead excited. I might vlog a little bit. I don't know. So I suppose we'll see if Eleanor gets the balls to film in front of other YouTubers later. Who knows? I'm so nervous. I always get so nervous about things like this, but I shouldn't because they're literally all my friends. Well, half of them. Half of them are going to be TikTokers that I don't know, but that's okay. I can make friends with TikTokers I don't know. If they want to make friends with me. I don't know. I don't meet that many 
nice TikTokers. Am I allowed to say that? You know who's not disappointing though? You know who's still my fucking <laughs> guardian angel? GK Barry. What a woman. What a fucking woman. I actually, oh my God, she's gonna be there tonight. Oh, I love her. I love her. This video is literally so disjointed. I don't know how to connect clips to save my life. It's just like, hi, I'm on my next, next task now. Who's ready? <laughs> so, this is how I very professionally organize my work life. A whiteboard, yeah, I know. Honestly, when I first signed on with my management and I showed one of them this in like one of my introduction calls, she was like, okay, well, we're gonna, we're, go we're gonna work on that. We're gonna work on that. And I'm like, no girl, come on, look, this is good. It's visual, I'm good at this. I've drawn balloons because it's my birthday this month. Tell me that's not more fun than doing things online. Of course it is. So, planning my cases for the month. I'm planning some true crime cases for this month. Um, I actually have a two-parter going live next. So, I write the name of the case in black and then usually underneath, if I have a sponsor for the video, then I'll write the sponsor underneath just so I can kind of keep them connected in my brain. So this was a video that I worked on with Casetify. Um, I still actually need to film some clips for that today. Oh my God, I'm actually so excited. Rachel, researcher Rachel, she's amazing. She's researched Ralmote for me, the whole Ralmote case. I'm st oh, I'm excited to do that video. Are you excited to watch that video? Hopefully. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. Okay, yeah, so I'll do that. I'll do the Royal Note case at the end of January, maybe? I actually need to work on how I pronounce his name. Apparently it's Raul. Raul Note, but everyone where I'm from has always just called him Raul Note. Anyway, so this is my plan for the month. This will actually probably end up being a two-parter. I'm sure of it. It's a big case. So... That is my whole month planned. Literally takes about two minutes. I don't know why I procrastinate it so much because literally so easy. <laughs> I actually have a secret to tell you guys, by the way. <laughs> I started like a spam TikTok the other day and it's a full secret. No one knows, literally no one's following it. <laughs> so if you want to follow it, feel free, girly pop. It's Emma Stan, baby. I made it so that I could just post whatever the fuck I want on it because my management want me to produce higher quality content. <laughs> I had like a strategy meeting with them the other day and they were like, um, try not to post like blurry pictures and stuff on Instagram. Everything needs to be like kind of high quality. And I'm like, oh, my TikToks, <laughs> my TikToks do not be there. This video is not realistic yet because you haven't had a dance interlude from me. Honestly, <laughs> what's this angle? Honestly, a good amount of my days spent just dancing around the house. Completely unrelated to my work kind of stuff. I started reading. Yeah, get a load of that. Not just a pretty face, you know what I mean? I got a Kindle off of Amazon. Um, I'm reading The Seven Husbands of Evelyn. Eve Evelyn Hugo. I'm about 10 pages in. I can't, I have no, I have no commitment when it comes to reading. And I wish I did. I wish I could be Jack Edwards, but we can't all be Jack Edwards, you know what I mean? So it's quarter past four now. And I feel like I haven't been as productive as I wanted to be. I've just been, to be fair, I've been focusing on this video quite a lot. Yous have been distracting me. Um, I think I'm gonna sit and plan some reels or like TikTok content. I really wanna start doing fashion content on Instagram reels particularly, but I don't really know what to do. I feel like a lot of my outfits are just the same. I don't know if I have like a sense of style. I just like dresses and skirts and knee high socks. So then all my outfits look really repetitive. They're all dresses on skirts on knee high socks. I'm not wearing knee high socks today though, because I was like, yeah, I will actually make an effort with this. So I think I might plan my first ever fashion Instagram reel. I'm nervous, I'm so nervous. Realistically, how do you plan a fashion IG reel though? You can't sit here at your laptop. I did bring my laptop top over to sit and plan it but like all my clothes are in my wardrobe love they're not on your laptop should we go have a look what i've got so these are all my dresses the cherry dress i feel like it does need to go in the bin but also at the same time i feel like it's very iconic now and it's it's starting to not fit me anymore it's too big for me it's a size 20 and i'm a 14 i don't know how i still keep squeezing into this shit but i'm making it work because i want it i like that dress oh do you want to see what i got the other day sorry call me fucking corpse husband or something because i'm buying all these like emo accessories recently get a little this right <laughs> fishnet gloves yeah and i don't know why this is why no one would want to see my fashion content on instagram because i buy fishnet gloves oh my god they're small oh i cannot squeeze my hand in there <laughs> who is this for i'm like out of breath and it's only my wrist oh no i've ripped it a bit oh chill out chill out chill out right that's enough ah kind of cute kind of cute right maybe this is not Maybe this is not the vibe. I'm gonna put a black dress on because I feel like the very black dress. Okay, BRB. <gasps> Fucking look at this! Why do I kind of like it? I don't know. I feel like 
I don't know, I try not to be like mean to myself about my arms, but I feel like my ar they just maybe don't suit my little wrinkly arms. No, I'm not gonna say that. I'm not gonna say that. That's mean to myself. But I think they're cute. So someone invite me somewhere ASAP, so I've got a reason to wear these. This is the full outfit that I put them with. Um, it might look better with sleeves. Should we find a sleeved dress? Mm. I don't know. What? How are you supposed to wear these? Yeah, no, defo, maybe not the sleeves. Mm. I do need to get ready for Kate Elizabeth's party soon. And I think I'm gonna film a, a chatty get ready with me for that. So that'll be up on my channel. Oh God, it might even already be up. Who knows? Who bloody knows? Cause I'm never bloody organized. It's 10 minutes later and now you're in my fridge. And I decided that I'm not even gonna wait for it to focus on my face for me to start talking. Why did I do that? I'm such a bad YouTuber. I've decided I'm not gonna film a reel. Do you wanna know why? Should've come up with an excuse before I said, do you wanna know why? I, uh, I'm done. I'm finished filming. This is the fi this is the final look. Can you tell I've had a drink while I was doing it? This is the final look. My head looked like a boiled egg then. Anyway, should we have a pre-drink before this party or what? Oh my god, I'm so sorry. Um Guys, I might have smashed my camera. Oh balls. What am I doing now then? Okay, never mind. I uh, turned it off and on again. It works again now, so. <laughs> See you at the party, girl. Hi, guys! Hi, Welcome to the vlog. This is the little TikTokers. I am a content creator. If you want to know, the reason why Ellen knows so much about serial killers is because she is one. Oh, and, and, oh my god, it's Jack Benedict! Hello, Jack. Oh Hello. Hello. This is Belle Beasley's first time. Quite, quite, quite. She for me. I love her. Look at Box, 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 box. Hi, guys. This is the movie in the feet. I'm great. I feel like I'm on the mountain. She's on the mountain. We're on the mountain. We're on the mountain. Don't really find me on my own. 